What's going on, everybody? Ryan the Mighty Quinn here on the Cornerman underscore MMA with a good friend of mine, Alexi the Boa Constrictor Olenek. How are you, sir? Hello, everyone. I I'm good, thank you. Yeah, you look good. You look good, man. Happy you're staying in shape. Oh, before I forget, everybody, please like, subscribe, and share, and add your comments below. You know, love the interaction. So, uh, Alexi, I'm so happy you came on. I know you're busy. You're driving out to Chicago later today. Um, so I just wanted to talk about your last fights and things going forward. Um, one thing that I was interested in with your last fight is, you know, during Alir Latifi's post-fight interview, he said how he had staph infection going into the fight. Were you aware of that? Was anybody aware of that? Uh, of course, that's not good uh, because uh, we have rules. Uh, you must uh, say it about uh, any problem, any uh, health issue, if you have uh, that. I told uh, always uh, doctors before fight uh, if I have any problems. But yep. uh, post factum, this is, doesn't matter right now. I check my uh, body, I check my uh, healthy, I am good, I am normal, everything good. Right, but, right. But this was a little bit uh, not good. Yeah, I remember when I was fighting, um, they used to say, like, don't leave anything out, whether it's medication you're taking for prior being sick or anything that you have. Or like, even I remember I had like an ingrown hair on my arm and I had to let them know it was an ingrown hair because it could look like staph infection. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, if I have a broken rib, maybe torn my muscles, this is my problem. Mm. But uh, if I can in, uh, make a like infection to my opponent, this is uh, not my problem. This problem, uh, everyone. So, uh, did did they give you any explanation after that? Like after he announced it after the the fight, uh, did no. they say to you, "Hey, we're no. sorry"? No, no, any people don't say to uh, me uh, this. Nobody. I yeah. just. Uh, not me. My friends uh, uh, read about uh, that in uh, in the new news public public and uh, told me about that. I don't know. Yeah. Before. Yeah, that happens. You know, you're you're walking to the back and everyone's on their phone looking up, blah, blah, you know, texting. Um, yes. But uh, I understand that. So unfortunately, you know, you 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 and the UFC have parted ways and. Um, did uh, did they let you know shortly after that, or how did that happen? How did that go down? Did they call your management team? Uh, no, I just speak with my manager. My manager said to me, uh, "Are you ready fighting uh, one month in uh, in Brazil?" I said, "Yes." No, uh, not in Brazil with Brazil guys. I said, "Yes, I'm ready," and uh, he said, "We almost signed contract, uh, and we." wait maybe one week we speak about money about something else and uh, you see mm -hmm. said okay we um, take off this proposition and uh, no any fights more <laughs> i understand i understand yeah unfortunately that's how it happens i remember i was in a similar situation with bellator before i retired um so but you're still you're still st staying in shape you know but 88 fights 60 wins <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> it is great. And, you know, you're still one of the greatest submission artists in the game, so you still got a lot to give. Um, do you have anywhere that you're looking to go next? Um, are you, what's, what's next for Alexi Olenek as far as competing in mixed martial arts? Uh, right now I haven't uh, something uh, uh, con concrete uh... Proposition. Nothing concrete. I understand. Nothing, Nothing concrete. Uh, I'm ready for any proposition. Uh, I don't speak. Uh, I don't text. Don't call. No any promotion. And uh, nobody don't uh, try to connect it with me. Uh, but uh, like I someone said before, tried. Some, I, I, someone I, tried I, to connect with you. Yes, <laughs> I, I even do, doesn't uh, try to do this. Uh, I am still little bit uh, relaxed, little bit rest after my mm, very hard, uh, very tough uh, career. I need a mm -hmm. little bit time for rest. Sometimes less is more. I totally understand that. I remember um, there was times where uh, I, remember I had a, I had a loss that I was really upset about. 
and I was I was I know I was burnt out and I immediately got back in the gym and everyone said, Whoa, sometimes you gotta you gotta take a week or two to you know to to collect yourself, decompose, decompress, and then get back to it. So I completely understand that. That sounds great. You know, um I know that uh and I told you with the fight promotion that I was looking for you. Hopefully maybe we can work something out there, but I totally get what you're saying. Um, I know that we haven't seen the last of Alexi Olenek. I know I can't wait to see the next Ezekiel choke. Um, yeah, man, I just, that's all I wanted to have is uh, I, I wanted to have you on here and just talk about what's next and how things are going. I know you're still truly a fan favorite, still truly one of the best heavyweights to watch in the world. And thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. All right, man. I know you got a big trip coming up. I won't keep you any longer. Have a great day. And when you get back, we're going to talk about training because I'm starting to get in shape myself a little bit. Ryan, thank you very much for everything. Uh, I am really open for any proposition, but uh, I doesn't uh, try to find uh, this myself. And I will say it to all f- my fans and all faiths mixed martial arts, uh, my best wishes for you. And... Uh, well. Just enjoy, I, enjoy. What's what? What are you going to Chicago for, by the way? What's it, just vacation, or what, what's going on out there? <laughs> uh, still, my professional. Uh, mm-hmm. Do you do you know Bellator uh, tournament uh, November eighteen in Chicago? Ah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I uh, help to prepare to his fight uh, Vadim Nimkov. He's uh, Bellator two hundred right. five five pounds uh, uh, champion. Yes, yes, you're being a good teammate. There you go, <laughs> yeah. as always. All right, well, you have a great trip, hopefully a successful trip, and we will talk when you get back.